Hello, Beret Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills, and welcome to another chill Monday. Yes, I know. I'm. I'm sorry. Yeah, Monday. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm like. I know weekend uh, another chill Monday girl I mean and I'm saying chill Monday because we are taking Monday back you know we are taking back that thing of like oh you know it's Monday first day I'm so tired no I hate it F that you know because we are here to just you know say week I am uh, accepting you you know I see you Monday you know, I see you weak, and Monday should not be this scary, and I'm here to just, you know, keep you through the day. So, as always, Mondays is all about personal opinion, and we are going to be talking today about the future of the Real Housewife of Beverly Hills, now that Lisa Rena has been officially booted out from the show. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell, and let's talk about this a oh, mess. Hey, yo, meal. No. My friend, my son, and my sister. I am so glad that Juan Dixon is not here right now. Can Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. <laughs> better? Is bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. Hello everyone and before we start it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Rose Forever. They did this amazing bouquet of flowers with special oils that will make the roses last up to a year. This is the perfect gift for you, your mom, your wife, your husband, whatever you want to say, I'm sorry, I love you, I miss you, say it with these beautiful flowers. So if you want to get your bouquet right now, go to the link on the description below and use my discount code ANDY25 and you will get $25 off your order. Again, this is the perfect gift for anyone. So whatever you want to say, say it with roses from Rose Forever. Welcome back everyone. And it is time to talk about the future of the Real Housewife of Beverly Hills. Girl, we have been asking this for years. Lisa Rena took this franchise who was loved by everyone. Literally my favorite franchise is the real house of Beverly Hills. And I have to go and um, to watch Lisa Rena destroy one of the best franchises, the best shows on reality TV. You know, and we have to endure that year after year after year. We beg Bravo. We beg and beg Bravo for so long to take her out. And a lot of people are basically saying like they're done with the show. You know, like they were like, we are not going to be watching Real House of Beverly Hills anymore. Like Lisa Rena destroyed it for us. Like we don't want anything to do with her. And that show, like she was provoking for Beverly Hills what Kelly Dodd did for Orange County. And finally, Bravo kind of like opened their eyes. You know, they were finally over the spell. And they were like, yes, we have to do something. We cannot let Lisa Rena destroy that what we have been building for 12 years already, right? So they fire her. So she's finally gone. But now the main question is, what is going to be the future of the Real House of Beverly Hills? Why? Because we got used to a takedown mentality, okay? Year after year after year, people were like if there is not a, if there is no takedown then there is no good tv you know if there is no like super like very bad drama someone destroying other people's families or, not, or other people's marriages then it's not going to be good enough right and a lot of people are questioning you know is 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 it going to be good is it going to be boring like uh are we going to be missing lisa ren at some point now, me personally, this is what I'm thinking. Everyone is replaceable. And I always said that, you know, what we know, like, we are down, we need drama. I mean, drama is part of life. Part of reality TV, it's supposed to show reality, you know? And we, in our lives, we have drama constantly. 
we have drama with our parents, with our siblings, with our co-workers, with, you know, the random guy in the corner. There is always drama going on. The thing is, like, that drama is not usually something that is going to destroy your life, your mom's life, your dog's life, like everyone else around you, right? The stupid shit that you confront, that you are able to, like, find, like, a, a, a middle spot, you know, have some resolution, move on with your life, and everyone end up being happy. That's the kind of drama that we usually really, like, enjoy, and that's life, and that's what we want to watch on this reality shows. Now, according to my sources, uh, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills is not going to be looking for another villain. And I really want to know what you guys think about that. Because they say that they do not want another, like any more takedowns. They don't want villains anymore. They don't want people hate, like hating the show because of one person specifically that they want to really explore the relationships between all the ladies right and that will create drama itself but it's like again stupid drama it's not like you know big big like horrible things i don't know right are are, are we ready for that kind of reality show because i have to tell you something the kardashians they changed their show for from a drama field show that was keeping up with the kardashians where every single year there was something big happening to the kardashians which is now on hulu which is not very drama field and people are like Ugh. like can something happen you know, so I'm thinking Real Housewives, especially Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, needs to find a good middle, okay? Because it's not about being drama-free. Drama-free is boring, okay? It's, it's, it's just what it is. Again, because it doesn't happen in real life. You don't live a life full of free drama ever, you know? No, there is always little things happening. And that's what you want to connect with, you know? You want to see... The, I think the whole formula of Real Housewife was watching these supposedly millionaire women dealing with everyday stupid shit, you know? So we could see like, oh, of course she's going to do that, you know? Or of course this, she's saying that, right? Uh, and we don't want to see racism. We don't want to see homophobia. We don't want to see xenophobia. We don't want to like, uh, you know, people destroying other people's marriages for fun, you know? Um, it's it, it, that's what we don't want. We we need to this like little stupid uh, stupid rumors maybe or like you know stupid shit. Uh, it's, it's going to be definitely interesting uh, to watch uh, the show without an actual villain. Now that's what they're looking for. Let's wait and see what they're actually finding. Because one thing is what they want, and another thing is what the ladies want, you know? And I'm thinking this change is not going to be very good for some of the ladies. And I, I'm betting that some of them are going to be like, well, fuck it. I'm still going to bring the drama because I want to be a fan favorite, thinking that drama creates fan favoritism, you know? And, well, I don't know. So that's what I wanted to chat with you guys today on this chill Monday. So let me know what you think on the comments below. Uh, do you feel that a villain is needed specifically from the real, for the real house of Beverly Hills? Let me know. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.